Well, good morning, New Heart Church family. Pastor Matt with you on this uh, Thursday morning. And um, I really appreciate it. For those of you who didn't join in the Zoom call last night, I really appreciated Pastor Todd's um, uh, emphasis on um, uh, the uh, the verses uh, related to uh, evangelism, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, and uh, uh, Acts 1, 8, the, uh, the link between the two of those that were called to go make disciples and and we were promised the power to be able to be witnesses. Um, you might be shocked at some statistics. I got these from um, Bible.org, um, and they're listed as 2022, so I'd say they're fairly recent. They may not be this year, but they're certainly certainly recent, and they certainly ring true with everything else that I've ever heard or read. 95% uh, of all those who claim to be a Christ follower, a Christian, cannot identify one single person that they have led to Christ. 80% of those who are Christians admit they do not consistently witness for Christ. Less than 2% of all those who claim to be Christians are actively involved in some sort of ministry of evangelism. And 71% do not even give toward the financing of um, evangelistic efforts. That means they don't give money in revivals. They don't uh, support uh, uh, new efforts to evangelize or to train people or to support people who are in evangelism. One particular de denomination, Who Shall Remain Nameless, uh, did a survey on its particular leadership uh, situation. 63% of the leadership of that denomination had not led one stranger, one person they did not know to Jesus in the last two years through some method of evangelism. 49% of the leadership admitted they did not schedule any time on their daily calendars uh, for um, ministering outside of the church. 89% um, uh, said they didn't list any time dedicated specifically to evangelism outside of the church. But yet 99% of the leadership said, oh yes, we were all called to go make disciples. I confess, um, it's been a while for me too. I, I try to be uh, intentional about it. And, uh, and that's really part of the solution to this problem. And something that I discovered this week as I spent a lot of time in, in prayer and thought and uh, uh, in sharing with uh, Mark Bain and, and uh, Jenny Noriega, um, those folks who came to, to help us, you know, the way we solve this problem is that we do become more intentional about evangelism, more intentional about uh, trying to uh, uh, make converts. Um, and if we are intentional, it's very likely that we will see more results. You know, one of the things I talk about all the time is uh, Jabez opportunities from the prayer of Jabez, from that book. And uh, the idea that if you pray and ask God to enlarge your territory, to give you opportunities to to um, evangelize or to uh, make a difference in somebody's life, you know, God doesn't say, "Oh, you know what? I I don't want you to do that." If you pray and ask for it, He's gonna He's gonna give it to you, you know. Um, and so you're gonna have those. Um, uh, let me just say right off the the top, of, you know, right right off the front here too that that. Um, uh, you, you do have to be intentional about it. You can't just say, well, you know, if those opportunities come my way, well, then I will, uh, I'll do something about it. Because uh, God requires more than just faithfulness in this. He requires us to be um, intentional and to be uh, going out to minister to people and to reach the lost people. Um, and you don't have to be gifted to do it. Um, you know, there's a lot of forums that talk about relational evangelism and talk about how um, you build uh, relationships and you just share your story. You tell people about what it was like before you saw, came to Jesus, what Jesus did for you, and what your life has been like since. Um, you know, uh, we got to do what what uh, what Jesus did. He 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 called uh, uh, disciples. Um, you know, some disciples were called instantaneously. Peter, James, and John, there by the. Um, uh, and Andrew there by the, the, the lakeside, Jesus said, come follow me. And they dropped their nets and they went to follow him. Uh, Jesus called Zacchaeus, told him to come down. And he came down immediately and, and became a follower of Jesus, changed his life. But, um, you know, the, uh, the woman caught in adultery required um, 
uh, a little conversation, not with her so much, but with others. Uh, but she left changed after that conversation. The Samaritan woman, it was a very engaged and long conversation um, uh, that um, uh, ultimately also resulted in her coming to faith and believing in the Messiah. Um, and if you think about Philip and, and the uh, Ethiopian eunuch, man, that wasn't just... Um, that wasn't just a conversation. That was an in-depth Bible study. So there's a lot of scenarios by which we can um, engage people in this idea of evangelism, this idea of, of uh, bringing people who don't have a personal relationship with Jesus into that place where they can do that. Because uh, remember this, as Pastor Todd pointed out last night, all believers are called to make disciples. Jesus didn't say, just you that wear red shirts with funny little mice on them, uh, or just you with silver hair, or just you with dark hair, or you who have no facial hair. He said, all of you go and make disciples. And, and uh, you can't really, if you want to play with the terms of, of converts and disciples, uh, okay, I'm fine with that, um, except to recognize you can't make a disciple until you have a convert. And so um, uh, if you're going to go out and make disciples, you better, you better make sure people are converted to the faith first. Um, uh, but as, as, again, as Pastor Todd pointed out last night, Jesus said, uh, you shall receive power to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, and I will be with you always. So we can have that power. We can be those witnesses. Tell somebody today, tell somebody today, about how, uh, how much you love Jesus and what he's done for you in your life. And ask them, will you let him do it for you? Looking forward to seeing you Sunday. Zoom Sunday School class, 945, YouTube morning worship, and in the building, um, I'm hoping as well. And so I trust that you will uh, join us this Sunday morning, 945 for Sunday School, uh, 1040 for worship, either in person or online. And if you need invitations, uh, send us an email to newheartnazarene at gmail.com, and we will go ahead and get that invitation out to you. You can find information about our church on the web at newheartnazarene.org. God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday. Take care.